What's good, YouTube? You already know this, but I'm coming catch you in another video. And before you start this video, y'all already know what to do, man. I don't ask for much. I just ask that y'all like this video. You know, it really helps me get an algorithm as well as, you know what I'm saying, grow this channel. I'm just trying to go crazy, man, 100K. Also, man, make sure you follow the Instagrams. Guys, don't ask which one is mine. You know, just follow all of them, man. Support my bro. Uh, he has some going with his YouTube and stuff like that. Got a lot of helpful information on there, man. He does fitness and everything like that. Make sure you follow him and follow me, guys, as well, you know. So what's good with y'all, boys? Hope you guys are having a great day, man, being very productive. Let's hop straight into it, y'all. We have to master conversation skills. Now, listen, guys. Some of them starting to realize, listen, I'm an introverted person, guys. Let's get this out of the way right now. I am not an extrovert. I am not somebody who is a very talkative social person. You can ask anybody that know me as well as anybody that has ever worked or went to school with me. I've always been the type to be very quiet. You know what I'm saying? I can be, you know what I'm saying? When I used to work at uh, the job at the casino, man, I could count on my hand how many words I used to say at the job. I'm not even lying. I used to say no more than maybe 10 words a day because I was just always very observant and I was less talkative. You know, I wasn't running my mouth or doing anything like that. I was just very quiet, kept laid back. And that's why a lot of women in their job, in their vicinity, that's why they would flock to me because they always felt they got the energy from me that, OK, if I give him some, he'd keep his mouth closed. Y'all know how they go with women, man. A lot of women, a lot of y'all don't understand, man. A lot of the most quietest dudes you see, especially, listen, guys, especially if they are, you know what I'm saying, good looking, well kept. Guys, those are the biggest players because women know that they won't say anything. But that's a whole nother topic. But yeah, guys, that's just giving you a little background of kind of who I am, guys. I'm very, you know what I'm saying, introverted. So check this out. Some I'm starting to notice and just, you know what I'm saying, living my everyday life and stuff like that. Guys, you have to master your conversation skills. Because if not, you're not going to be able to do the things that you want to do. Some I've realized, guys, I've talked to a lot of people, you know, where I be out in places, man. And a lot of people, man, will actually have valuable conversation for you. Sometimes, guys, you can run up on a random person and you never know what you might talk to them and find out. Guys, you never know. They might have the answers that you've been looking for as far as what you want to do with yourself or, you know, anything that you might want to do. You know what I'm saying? And also, guys, you have to understand something. You got to open up your mouth. Stop worrying about what others are going to think. Because I'm telling you this, guys, if you actually become more extroverted and learn how to master your conversation skills, you'll be able to build relationships, guys. Listen, check this out. Just take this. I want you to understand something. So um, I was at the casino. This is maybe a month ago. And um, this man, you know, he's a white man. And pretty much he just came up, started talking. And normally, you know, I would say a few words and that's it. But I started to talk to him, guys. And um, he basically asked me, you know, you like what I do. I was like, well, I work for myself. I'm 21. And, uh, you know, I, per I personal train, drop ebooks, you know, do YouTube as well. Just start my own business, trying to actually build up something for myself. And um, he was when he heard that, man, he was like, he wish he had known, you know, what he wanted to do at my age and yeah he was just telling me how you know he's successful and you know you know a lot of powerful people in this and that but guys just that right there just think about that guys even though you know what i'm saying he didn't give me a position or anything like that or just give me some type of you know leeway to actually make money you see how we built that connection right then and there you know what i'm saying off of a like-minded topic about entrepreneurship you know just being successful guys you have to open up your mouth to people because the more talkative and cooperative you are with people the better the relationships the better the outlook on you and the better opportunities you will have guys do you not understand something if you can learn to talk to a person and actually correspond with them do you not understand the level that would take you to guys if you know how to talk right especially listen guys especially if you somewhat like a salesman you know furniture salesman um car salesman anything like that you guys know y'all y'all know man how important conversation is a conversation alone you can actually master how to make a person do what you want them to do or how to make a person respond in the way you want them to respond how to just you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that take advantage of anything like that but i'm just saying that mastering your conversation skills this is what can happen you will begin to learn people 
you will begin to learn how to adapt to what people are saying, how to adapt who people are. You will begin to learn to adapt to everything, guys. You'll be able to talk to a mean person, a nice person. You know, you will be able to talk to different types of people, you know, because your conversation skills are constantly getting mastered. Listen, guys, a lot of us want women. You have to talk to women, guys. You can look as good as you want to. If your conversation is trash, the woman is not going to want you. Think about it. Do you want enemies out here, guys? If you're a person that has bad conversation and you really come off as an asshole or somebody that is, you know what I'm saying, just, what do you call it, man? Conceited. If you coming off that as people, you think you won't create enemies, guys? People like to be around cool people. People like to talk around cool people. People want to feel comfortable around you. If they don't feel comfortable, guys, you're going to have a lot of problems. You want to be able to go outside, go into settings, guys, go into places, big places, trips, and be able to just talk and have a good conversation. Am I saying go out and just talk to anybody? No, I'm saying when the time comes up, because we all out here, listen, if you get out the damn house, you know good damn well. Every day you go out, you're going to have at least one or two chances where you can have a full blown conversation with somebody. Somebody going to say something to you. Some, hey, somebody going to say something to you. You know it. I know it. If you get out the house, you know what I'm talking about. You're going to get in the conversation with people. We live in a world, guys. Listen, I understand. Don't get me wrong. I understand that it's hard trying to transition, hard to try to talk and try to actually practice your conversation, try to actually get out and talk to people. I understand that it's hard to talk to strangers because we've been programmed. We've been, you know what I'm saying, conditioned to grow up in a social media society in which all we do is get on our phones. All we do is watch TV. All we do, you know what I'm saying? We just do a lot of things that are very artificial. It's not real life, you know what I'm saying? It's not actually teaching us to do real things, to go out and experience life, guys. That's one reason why a lot of us are extra are introverted because social media, I'm gonna be real with you guys. In my mind, I'm just being honest with y'all. In my mind, just being on social media so much, I always felt that, man, if I don't approach her in person, I can just text her on social media. I'm not lying, guys. I have no shame in saying that because we've been programmed. We've been programmed to artificial stuff, man. In my opinion, social media is artificial. Don't get me wrong. Stuff like YouTube, you know what I'm saying, is helpful. But a lot of it is artificial because real life is king. You know what I'm saying? It's better to do things in real life. So, guys, once you master your conversation skills, I'm telling you right now, your bank account going to increase. Your confidence is going to increase. You know? Your women, your women going to increase, man. Your rotation going to increase. Lots of things, you know what I'm saying? The individuals that you have around you, like-minded individuals, that's going to increase. Having a great conversation skills, guys, can get you jobs, you know what I'm saying, that you want. You, you might not even meet the qualifications, but if you're talking to the interview the correct way and actually corresponding with them, you think you won't get that job? And understand this, mastering conversation skills, guys, you have to realize something. A lot of communication is nonverbal. You know what I'm saying? When you're talking to a person, guys, you can say something simple, but look them straight now. You see how I'm looking at you now just like this? Look them straight now, you know, talk to them. I've, I've been practicing on this myself. Talk to them while looking them in the eyes. It's kind of like a multitasking thing because you're not used to it at the time. But after a while, it'll just get normal. But you see, guys, how I'm talking to you and I'm looking you straight in your eyes. You have to understand that the nonverbal side of conversation is very important, guys. You want to have a look. You want to look somebody in their eyes and they're talking to them when you're talking to them. Because if not, how are they going to trust you? How are they going to feel what you're saying is, you know, true? How are they going to know you're a good person? How are they going to know any of this if you are looking away from them like this, talking to them, looking away from them, talking to them, looking away from them, talking to them, looking at them, looking away like Guys, that creates a level of distrust. You know what I'm saying? Because it's showing them that not only you don't have respect for them, but that you don't have respect for yourself. And you're conveying that you're nervous, guys. Eye contact is very important, guys. So you want to know that, man. So master that eye contact while you're talking. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, you're understanding the person you're talking with. Look at the setting. A lot of things play in, man. The eye contact, you know, the body language. 
um, the sitting you're in. Guys, you have to use things to your advantage to keep the conversation going. It doesn't have to be a long conversation, but guys, you have to master your conversation skills. You know what I'm saying? That simple. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this topic. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.